Hey guys, so in this video I want to write a program um, that gives back the least amount of change using a greedy algorithm. So let's go ahead and get started here. Alright, I'm going to put a description and let's see, this program uses a greedy algorithm to give the least amount of change back. So um, I'm using the USD currency. So that means that we have quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to include the standard um, input output dot h uh, library and let's go ahead and create my main function okay and I'm gonna put system pause since I am using a Windows operating system now what I'm gonna do is I want to ask the user um, I guess how much uh, change is old. So let's go ahead and write that. So how much change is old? And uh, that's fine. And then we're going to give them the least amount of change back. So for instance, if I, or uh, if the change old is seventy five cents, then they're going to get back three quarters. So let's see here. We're going to create a few variables. Let's see, integers. Um, I'll call one num of quarters. Um, number of um, dimes. Number of nickels. And then number of pennies. Okay, so I'm going to set them all equal to zero. And this will keep count the uh, the change that we need to distribute. Okay. And maybe a count variable. I don't know. I'm I'm really just kind of doing this as we go. Um, I've written this program before, but uh, just kind of going with the flow here. So let's see. We probably need a. Uh, I'm gonna put this up top. So now we've printed how much change is owed. So I'm gonna say ask user input, and then we're gonna actually get the user's input, and they're gonna give me a integer because integers are easy to work with. Uh, easier than doubles and floats and I need a variable here so for now I'm just going to create one call it change owed and I need to create that variable okay so now we have our change owed now let's actually do the um, greedy algorithm so I'm going to go ahead and create a function up here. I'm going to say define um, define the function, and it's going to be a void function. Maybe I have it just print something. I'm going to call it greedy algorithm, and it's going to take in an integer value called change owed. And what I have it do is I just have it print um, how many of each, you know, quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies uh, that we have to distribute back to the user. And if that's the case, then I will include 
these variables inside of the function instead. Okay. So let's do this. So um while the change ode and that's actually that's a lot to write. Let me just put C here instead of change ode. Maybe that'll make it uh, less typing for me. So let's do that. While C, which is change ode, is greater than or equal to 25, then we want to do um, number of quarters plus plus. Right, so that means that this is how many quarters we need. And then what we want is we want to subtract 25 from the overall value. So C so C is going to equal C minus 25. And that'll work until we can no longer get the number 25 out. And I'm going to basically do the same thing for all the other change. So, so right here, this gets all of the possible number of quarters as change. So quarters are 25 um, cents. So I'll do dot 25, zero dot 25. Okay. So again, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to need to paste it for dimes, nickels, and pennies. So this is going to be for dimes, which are 10 cents. And I have to subtract 10. Then we're going to do nickels, which is 5 cents. So we have to subtract 5 cents. Um, and pennies would be 1 cent. And we subtract 1. Okay, I'm going to copy my comments as well. Okay, so this one here gets all of it gets all of the possible number of dimes, which would be ten cents. That's change. Gets all the possible number of nickels. Which would be five cents. And it's all of the possible number of pennies. Which would be one cent. And then the other variable that I need to change is here. So here's the number of quarters. This right here will be the number of dimes, which is the D. This would be the number of nickels. So that's N. And then the number of pennies, which is P. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to put a print statement. Print F. Please give the user the following. I'm going to put a backslash in and maybe a colon there. And now let's do a print statement here. Um, we're going to do percent d quarters. And maybe I'll, I'll make this um, on each line here. And the percent d will be the number of quarters. And I'm just going to copy this four times. So we have quarters, we're going to have dimes. We're going to have nickels, and we're going to have pennies. And I guess I'll go ahead and make quarters a capital. And we want number of dimes, number of nickels, number of pennies. And that should be it. Let's see. So I believe this should work. OK, so let me go ahead and
copy this function here and we're going to put in change old okay let's see here we're going to get users input and now we're going to run the greedy algorithm okay so let me go ahead and run this um, save it as a dot c file I'm gonna call it greedy and let's save it okay so now it says how much change is old we're gonna say 75 cents Maybe I should put that in cents as well. And it says, please give the user the following three quarters, zero dimes, zero nickels, zero pennies. So, of course, it could have gave us 75 pennies, but the least amount of change would be three quarters. OK, so I'm going to just change this. Here I put in cents so, so that we know that we're going to be inputting an integer value. So let's try 89. What's the least amount of? coins that we can get or the least amount of change for 89 cents and that would be three quarters a dime and four pennies so that's it um thank you guys uh please subscribe please leave likes please leave comments and i'll see you guys in the next video